Hi Collective, this is Nikki. I hope you all are having a great day today. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a, um, a collective reading for you all today. So we're going to get started here. Give me messages please for the collective. Clear, concise messages for the people who are watching, who are drawn to this reading. It's, it's, um, it's um, timeless. So I hope it resonates. We're going to get started here. Uh, I put a post out yesterday, you all, about my brother confronting me about my tarot business. You know, it's my business. I can do what the hell I want to do. I'm in my house. I'm not doing it at my mother's house. I'm not standing on the street corner doing it. I'm in my damn house. What I choose to do in my damn house is my damn business. Stay the hell out of my business. Did you forget the fact that she used to be an ordained minister, but then you fell back down and started drinking and smoking and doing all this other shit you're doing? My sister talking the same shit. You shacked up in the house living with a man. You didn't went behind my back and put my mother's, our mother's social security check in your name. You know, it's just so much shit that they doing y'all but y'all want to look back at me and what I'm doing you know what I'm saying what I'm doing in my house where I pay the bills at I pay the cost to be the boss you want to pay attention to what the hell I'm doing get the fuck out of my business back to ordinarily scheduled programming all right messages for the collective please what is it that's going on in and around your energy today please messages for the collective let's roll let's roll let's roll take what you need and leave the rest it's a, if it's not for you it's not for you but you can still watch, all right? The star. King of Cups, okay? You, you got so much good stuff coming in, you don't got no choice but to share it with the world. People may not like it, but just you doing what you're doing. Here we got the star card, the king of cups, the ace of pentacles, the five of cups, and the nine of cups. So whatever it is that, that you're doing, find whatever I'm saying financially, whatever is physically, financially, emotionally, or whatever, you're getting the best of who you are, giving the best of who you got to other people. And you're a king of cups, and you're such a blessing to other people, whether they realize it or not. You may be upset about stuff, crying over spilled milk, things didn't work out, but that don't mean they're not going to get better because we got this wish fulfillment card. Okay? So whatever it, that you're doing, you're being blessed by a higher power. And to, to like, blessed to give, I'm hearing in my head for you, being blessed to give. Because you're going to have it to give. You know, even like I said, my brother and sister may, may disagree with, with what I do with my business. My brother, my other brother, going home really close to, say, well, well, it do kind of look like a voodoo in your... No, that's not voodoo. You know, if you sit down and you ask me a question, I will tell you why my space is set up this way. For one, it's, for one thing, it's my space. For two, it's my business. If you want to ask questions, ask. Don't, don't assume. Okay? But yeah, I definitely see you... Uh, doing different things and whatever it is you're doing you're blessing you're giving to others because you're receiving and whatever it is you're receiving you're giving it out to other people you may be disappointed by some words said some shoulda coulda woulda whatever the situation is but you're sitting high and pretty at this nine of cups you're doing what you're supposed to do that's your wish that's your wish fulfilled you get fulfilled by whatever it is that you that what you are doing I don't care what what you're doing, what kind of acts of service, what work you do. I don't care if you're a single parent living at home, whatever. You're doing what you're meant to do. You're giving that love to others, sharing what you get. You know what I'm saying? Sharing. Living um, kind of like whatever it is that you're doing, you're sharing that blessing with other people. You know, some people don't like that. That's just for the collective, please. The Justice Court. People always got something to say. Always got some shit, some kind of conclusion they want to make. Why are you so invested in my life? Why are you so invested? You don't even speak to me. You don't. My family does not visit my house. It's rare that they come over here. Came over here the other night to get a love seat that was in my basement that my brother wanted. But other than that, they don't come over here. So I can do what the hell I want. I can be laid up here buck naked with a lover. A couple of them if I wanted to. <laughs> but, oh, a lover. Girl, look, look, look. Didn't I just say lover? Maybe I predicted something for myself, except for the two. Did I say two lovers? But anyway, <laughs> but maybe I could be laying up here buck naked with a lover. Duh. And you want to pop up, you know, that kind of stuff. You don't know what I'm doing here. Ask, ask me about this. Ask me why did I start tarot? Ask me instead of assuming the hair of it. So somebody got some uh, a lover coming in. You probably don't even know it. Justice, lovers, hair outfit. Maybe you got a divorce, a separation here. You share so much with this person. Uh, this person was your wish fulfillment. What is this six of cups about? That? Maybe you wanted to go in and rectify the relationship and fix the relationship instead of holding yourself back and worrying about the situation 
worrying about the pain and the heartache and the distrust. You want your happiness back with this person here. And we got the Ten of Cups. Okay, happiness, love is a burden right now for you to deal with this pain in this heart. You see how that 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 trajectory switched around from you constantly giving and, and, and loving and receiving and whatever it is, the good stuff you get, you receive to other people. That's why you're going to be blessed with your wish fulfillment, blessed with the pleasures of your life, blessed with this physical union. <laughs> I'm hearing that in my head too, blessed with this physical union. Okay. You may be worried about a relationship you are no longer in, but that's going to change for you because I have here this three of swords and this person may have hurt you and you want to be happy here. You will end up being happy to be with this person, some, somebody coming back from your past and you fixing stuff or it may be somebody brand new because we have everything is fine. Everything is fine for you. Okay. Don't let people hold you back. The the opinions of others hold you back too. If, if you if you've dealt with a lover before, y'all separated, y'all ended the relationship, the marriage, or whatever. You got friends and family members telling you don't go back to that. You hit five of cups. He already hurt you. You crying over spilled milk. You and all this. You know what he did to you and she did to you and all this stuff. They drank too much. They cheated too much. They did whatever. Now now you want to allow this person to come back. Screw them. This is your life. You live your life the way you want, regardless of how other people think about it. Don't let people talk you out of happiness, okay? Don't let people talk you out of love. If you feel you don't need to be with this person, don't be with them. But don't let nobody else talk you into, into it otherwise. We got the Nine of Pentacles. I'm sorry, y'all. see the sunlight shining through the window. I can't do nothing about that. Okay. Are you wondering, in your life, have I done too much... What have I done? You know, am I am I doing too much? Am I not doing enough here? Worried about tomorrow? Worried about your future? We got the hangman. We got the devil card. You can't let people, uh, what people say and what people do, or dislike what you're doing, hold you back. Because if you do, then you're going to tap into their energy. This nasty devil energy. This toxic energy. That's what they want you to do. They want you to stay stuck up in your head and re-question your motives and re-question yourself. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing Because you choose to. That's your life. You can do what the hell you want to do. Did nobody tell my brother to stop preaching? We were so, so proud of him when he, when he was ordained. I remember the day he got ordained. I was so proud of him. Then here we go. Years later, no longer in the pulpit, drinking and smoking, getting high, doing all that shit. Think about that shit. I sip a little bit every now and again, but I don't get drunk. I don't get I don't smoke cigarettes or weed or we or any of that kind of stuff. I sip on my wine. Y'all don't see me sip my wine when I'm doing live readings and something like that, but that's it. All of us fall short of the glory of God every single day of our lives, no matter who you are. Period. You know, I'm doing what I'm doing because I feel this is my calling. Yeah, I had an issue with it at first. Should I be reading tarot? I had a huge issue because I grew up in a Baptist church. That's what they talked about. This was a no no. But this is my life. I hid it long enough, but you talk to some of the people who have purchased readings from me and see see what what comments they have made. If you've gotten a reading from me, no matter how I've been doing this a bit a little bit over a year, you know, on YouTube. So you put if you receive messages from me, readings from me, put it in the comments and let people know the experience that you that we have shared during our readings. I don't care if it's over the phone or, or through email. Period. I've made impacts on people and they've made impacts on me. I, I see so many things differently. I see life differently, how to handle certain situations and people differently. All right. Don't let people take you away from what you're destined to do. Don't let people make you hold your head down and re-question your motives, motives about why you're doing what you're doing. Because you're doing it because you're, you're destined to do it. All right. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, um, I... I don't have any more sales going on, but if you want to purchase a reading, the information is below. I'm keeping my uh, prices at a low minimum right now because I know a lot of people aren't working or can't afford. Uh, the readings, I'm going to always give you quality readings no matter what I charge. I don't care if it's $5 for a question or $25 for the freestyle reading or whatever. I'm never going to just give you just a simple reading, period. Okay? But the information is below. I start my new job next Tuesday. Okay? So I'm going to try my best to keep on doing my readings the way that I've been doing them um, depending on the demand okay just letting you all know so I'm going to finish this reading here just letting you all know what's going up the come ups <laughs> got the queen of wands here the two of cups making an effort somebody's definitely wanting to make an effort to you to really really fix what was broken here with this wheel of fortune they, they know 
yeah, they're going to come back to fix what was broken with you. And this has been an ongoing thing lately with them. this person wanting to come back. And not only that, I said something to you about to come up with the Queen of Wands. You're coming up too with new jobs, new situations, newness, or, or revisit, revisiting old situations that's going to make you come up a little bit brighter, a little bit better, more income for you, more money, more notoriety for yourself too. Just coming up again from, from falling below where you were, kind of like you fell down, but you're getting back up and you're going to be a lot more stronger than you were uh, the first time around. Because justice is spoken. Don't let people try to deter you from what God has gifted you with. And he, my brother was saying, well, well, that God gave you a gift and I got it too. Well, I, I use it. If you got it and I know you do, use it. Use it. I choose to use my gift the way I want to. If you want to sit on your gift, that's all on you. You know, whatever. Him and his damn family so bougie. Am I still, <laughs> we ain't even going to get started. Hmm. Okay, then we have the Four of Wands, the Empress, and the Knight of Wands. So you definitely got somebody coming back. Okay, Four of Wands, they're coming back for their boo. They're coming back for you, okay? Uh, shed some tears over this person. They shed some tears over you, but they're coming back. And when they get back, they're going to they're gonna feel like, um, kind of like a child. You know, like, oh, man, what am I going to say? How am I going to say to her? How am I going to tell her that I love her, that I care about her or whatever, or him? You know, they're going to come back because you stand out to this person. And you stood out so good to this person that they're going to come back because they're reminded of who you are. How they felt that they're, you elevated their life. You, 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 you light up. I'm hearing a song down low. You light up my life. You lit up this person's life when you were together with him or her. Okay, and they're coming back to dip. <laughs> they're coming back to dip their pole in your fishing hole. That's what I'm hearing in my head. Take it how it resonates with you. To dip their pole in your fishing. No, to dip your hole. To dip their pole in your in your fishing hole. Did I say that the first time? All right, y'all. <laughs> 